everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. And today I have a little something different for you. Today we have a really delicious spaghetti squash pasta bake. There's no pasta, the spaghetti squash is the pasta. But we're gonna be using the pumpkin pizza sauce that I made in a previous video. We're gonna top it all off with some delicious um, Italian blend cheese and we're gonna have low carb lunch today. So let's go see how this all comes together. Okay, today we're gonna take that roasted spaghetti squash that we made in the microwave, and we're also gonna take some of our homemade pumpkin pizza sauce, and we're gonna make a really awesome low-carb lunch for Rick and I to have today. And not because we're on a low-carb diet, but because it just is low-carb and it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna make this spaghetti squash pasta bake, air quotes on the pasta, but I have, um, I cooked off the spaghetti squash in the microwave and I cut it in half and we shredded up the noodles and then um, we're gonna turn this into uh, our own version of a pasta bake for lunch today. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna link you to the video where I showed how to make spaghetti squash two ways. It's one of my most recent pick your produce videos and this is gonna be so simple. I'll also link you to this, um, this pumpkin pizza sauce recipe that I did. Uh, this stuff, you guys, you have got to try this pizza sauce. Uh, there is no tomato in it at all. It's nothing more than pumpkin and some spices and some Parmesan cheese. It's incredible. It I really is. I kid you not. Even when, you know, when Rick says it's incredible, you know it's going to be good. This is an Italian blend of cheeses and we're just going to go ahead and be generous. I'm also going to be putting some Parmigiano Reggiano on here. And that's it. We're gonna pop this into a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes just to get that browned and bubbly. And then we'll bring it back and we'll show you what this really easy low carb spaghetti squash bake looks like. And there you have it. Our spaghetti squash pasta bake is all ready to enjoy. I just kept it in the oven until the cheese melted because look, my squash was warm, my pizza sauce was warm, and there was no need to bake it forever um, because that's gonna break down these delicious uh, fibers of the spaghetti squash and we really don't wanna do that. But um, you see how beautiful that is. I can't wait to eat lunch today because this looks so good. Mm -hmm. This pizza sauce, you guys, you have to try it. I'll make sure I leave a link down below where you can go watch the video because man, is this delicious. Um, you wanna taste it? I have to. You have to. What do you think? It's so good. Do you like it? You wouldn't know you're eating vegetables. Uh-uh. It has the same texture as spaghetti. A little crunch here. Well, I mean, you know you're eating squash, yeah. but Man, that's good. It is good. Oh, man. I gave this a sprinkle of, of my homemade pizza seasoning um, just to give it a little bit of depth for the photo, but it's going to add a lot of flavor in there. You add whatever you want or leave out whatever you want. But that's how you make a really simple and beautiful uh, low-carb lunch or dinner anytime you're ready. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please be sure and give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> I'll make sure I leave links down below to the pizza sauce and how to cook the spaghetti squash. We did videos on both of those. Um, if you're interested in seeing how we did that, and if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have new friends join me. Please be sure and hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please be sure and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this spaghetti squash pasta bake a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.